hi everyone welcome back to another video today i'm going in with some pasta colors i'm just whizzing through these here for you um i will leave everything in the description box below anyway so we're going in with charlie's nail art new collection uh, raspberry ripple apple sour lemon meringue blueberry ice cream and orange sorbet i'm using tips today i'm going to do five and they're all going to have two coats of daisy which is the white from the gel bottle ink and i have sped this up because this video was super long so in some places it's going to go awfully quick like four times quick. so um yeah i'll let you watch this and i'll pop back in a minute So most of the designs today are the same. We're just going to use different colours. So for this one, we're going in with June. And I'm just going to go through like a half French. That's what you want to call it. I don't know the actual name. I would say it was a half French. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sweep my brush where I want the product to be. And then I'm going to go in with a liner brush and just tidy that up. So I have left this one in real time and I have sped the rest up slightly. Uh, like I said, it's uh, repetitive, just different colours. Um, so yeah, the pink ones will be in real time and the rest will be at two times. Uh, to say this video was just over 50 minutes long originally so I've got it down to 31 minutes and 10 seconds <laughs> so I've just loaded up my liner brush with some product and I'm just going to use the rest of that gel just to smooth it out nicely I'm only doing one coat because we're going to cover with glitter and on this one it's going to go on with Raspberry Ripple from Charlie's Nail Art new collection. I've been dying to use this collection for such a long time, I've had it a while now um, and I just really didn't know. I know I wanted to use as many colours as I could, she's got other colours in this collection as well uh, but these are the ones I did pick out today. So. Now we're going to go in with this pastel green. All the colours are from the gel bottle ink. If you need to know which ones they are, uh, drop me a message and I will tell you. I will try and leave them in the description box because I think I did speed through the first bit up quite quickly. I do go in with some other colours as well in the end. Um, yeah, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to really do. I knew what I wanted to do, um, but when I was going through them, I thought I needed just a little bit more colour. So, um, yeah, I'm just checking against the other pink now, well, the pink one, just to make sure that they are similar, um, that the, the colours that I've got are of a similar enough, what am I trying to say? That they match it's, yeah that they match um so now we're going to go in with the pastel yellow again doing the same thing just neatening that up with my liner brush and smoothing it out i think i added a little bit more i didn't think it was thick enough on this one and i'll match them up so Um, I got some inspiration off of Beth Davies. Um, she did some half French designs in her previous videos and they look so nice. Um, so yeah, the inspiration really came from her for these. So thank you, Beth. Um, if you don't follow Beth, I'm sure you do because she's got quite a lot of subscribers anyway. She is Beth Matters. Um, um, I'll leave her description 
well i'll leave, leave her youtube link below if you're not subscribed to her please subscribe to her because she does some amazing work um so yeah i'll let you watch and uh yeah carry on My brush is actually a bit on the skew if so I need to run these through with some warm water just to, um, yeah, when I got it out, it was a lot worse. <laughs> so I don't know what has happened. It's obviously got folded over when I've put the lid on, but I will get those sorted. And the last colour now we're going in with is Coral Touch. This is a beautiful, it looks a lot darker on um, on the screen, but it is quite pale. It is quite pastel-y. Um, yeah, it does look quite a bit more orange on here, but it's not. Okay, so this is the first part done. This is the finished, not finished. This is the finished look after the first gel, polish, coat. <laughs> I think that's what I mean. Um, now I'm gonna go in with some base coat over the color. And that's gonna um, be there for me to apply the glitters. So, and I was a bit annoyed because there was actually still product on this little detailer brush. Uh, so we'll just give that a bit of a wipe. Start again. It's a nice thin layer of base coat. And then I'm going to go in with Raspberry Ripple. And place those glitter down where I want it. Over that colour. And then that will have a cure. These, I absolutely love these glitters. They are so spring-like and summer. Um, yeah, roll, roll on. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just picking up the glitter 
using the same brush, just picking those pieces up where I want them. And we need some with some uh, bigger chunks, bigger hex pieces, and then around with some smaller hex pieces. Yeah, absolutely stunning. I loved it. So finally glad to use this collection. So I'll just use my brush and I'll just nudge it around onto the nail covering most of that polish. Dabbing it in all around where I want it and then it will have a cure. And I do the same on all of the other four nails. So, and I do speed it up again, so I'll let you watch. Okay, so I do dab the sides in slightly. Now guys, I do usually wear gloves. I have run out, so do not do this with your uh, fingers. Please wear gloves. Um, yeah, I have literally just run out and I just gently did use my hand finger to just press those sides in, so um, don't yell at me. So yeah, I'll sped the rest up. Um, Doing exactly the same with the rest of the nail tips, and uh, I'll come back in a bit.
and okay that is the look with the glitter on and I'm going to go in with a, another base coat over the top just to seal that in um, I do hold them upside down a little bit just to make sure those glitters nicely encapsulated and I sped that up loads that's all done and I've wiped off the inhibition layer as well because now I'm going to go in with another line of the colour just around the just neaten up that edges around the glitter and then after that I go in with a corresponding darker colour uh, so again I'll let you watch I have sped it up as well So I did flash cure for 10 seconds um, and now I'm going in with the corresponding darker colour and this one's Miami. The corresponding green colour is Fern. Corresponding yellow is Bellini, although this looked quite orange, I did add a little bit of white to it because uh, I just wanted it a little bit paler.
the corresponding blue was blue star and the orange was twiggy so i did make a bit of a balls up with this blue so i'm just going in with my cleanup brush with some ipa and just cleaning up those edges Okay, so this is this bit done. I am now going to go in um, with. Um, oh, what did I do? Oh, another base coat, another layer base coat just to smooth out those lines. Um, again, it's make it nice and smooth. Um, and at this point, I did buff slightly as well and wiped off with some IPA and then I will go in with uh, Ultramat which is new I ordered it on the sale from Neo and their Urban Graffiti top coat as well so where the white is um, I'm going to go in and I go in over the two lines that I made as well I wasn't quite sure at this point what I really wanted to do um, and I thought, well, I can always go back over with the shiny top coat uh, if I didn't like it. So, yeah, all the white parts and the two lines that I drawn, they're going to go and have a matte top coat. And then I'm going to cure and then I will go in with the shiny top coat over the glitter.
Okay, so um, I did decide just to go over the pale colour with the... Um, I didn't at first and then I looked at it and I thought, no, I want, I want the pale line to be shiny as well and just the darker colour in matte. So that is what I did. You can see me checking it here. So I was like, oh, I don't know. What should I do? What should I do? And then I thought, no, I, I want that bit shiny. So yeah, I just went back in and left the darker colour matte. So again, I do this on all five tips. This is what now looks like with the matte and the shiny and then as an added bonus I decided to go in with some well with a crystal with the corresponding colour on each nail. Now I was a little bit out of shot so I didn't record all of these but I just used a bit of matte top coat to seal these. Um, I will actually take them off and put them back because these are Preciosa crystals, um, so yeah, I didn't want to go, um, if it was on a client, I'd go in with some bling adhesive and uh, also seal them with the matte top coat, so I would have done the shiny first and then the matte after probably, so um, this is the finished look, I loved how these turned out, super spring, summer vibes. Um, yeah, looking forward to them. Uh, yeah, really, really love the glitter. is amazing. Um, I'll leave my Charlie's link in the description box. Um, go and get yourself some monies off. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.